Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Mom Impressions. Today's game is Lost Ruins. This game comes out May 13th, 2021. It was developed by Otari Games and published by Dangan Entertainment. I did receive a review copy, but all thoughts will be my own. I want to answer a couple questions today, just in case you were on the fence about picking this up. First of all, what is Lost Ruins? Um, who is it for? And is it ultimately worth picking up? So Lost Ruins is a side-scrolling action Metroidvania with a really awesome art style, amazing sprites, and of course, waifus. So uh, this game, you are a young girl who wakes up in a dungeon and you don't know where you are. You presumably have amnesia and you are soon told by the guardian of the dungeon that hey you're here wow uh yeah you come from another world and uh lots of other people have come from other worlds however they have perished and it's up to you to go through this dungeon and get your memory back and you somehow get stronger with powers and, and such um so the biggest draw of this game is definitely the art style the sprites i mentioned before look amazing the portraits are highly detailed and more importantly the animations look so smooth you can even see in the footage here that all of the lighting is just um you know on point the shading is perfect and oh i don't know if i mentioned this but if you guys want to see the full unedited let's play there is a link down below to that so is this a good metroidvania game i would have to see from what i've played yes it has well it doesn't have leveling but it does have a ton of exploration uh, you can get weapons, lots of different weapons. There's like daggers, brooms, throwing items, bows, and spells, and much more. Now, these are very satisfying to obtain because you get them from, you know, going through special rooms. You can buy and sell items, and you can get them from enemy drops. They all have their own type of categories. Like, this is a dagger, this is a one-handed, this is a two-handed weapon, and it gives you more stats. Like, this does six damage, nine damage, four physical damage and four poison damage and this one does fire damage um all the different spells that you get uh, do some sort of weird interaction with the world for example you can fire up poison to do flame puddles in the ground you can electrify water to hit everyone in the ground including yourself so you have to be careful you can also just use a bow but you, you have to be really wary of all of your resources because even though this is a metroidvania there are checkpoints and there are areas to farm enemies essentially to get money and buy more stuff this is a pretty tough game and i would say it's tough in the terms of the mechanics and overall design now let's talk about the mechanics first uh when you play this game it's going to feel clunky no joke it is going to feel clunky and the reason being it's because your character is so stiff first of all i mean i can just nitpick at the, some of the stuff first of all your jump you hit the button it doesn't matter if you tap it or you hold it you're not you don't do it with short hops ever you do it with one gigantic high arch it is really weird so no short no short harping in a very very action-packed game there's a dark souls type of role you can go through enemies a little bit of iframes there which is pretty cool now an another thing that's really weird is your momentum you jump forward and as soon as you activate a spell or swing your weapon you stop dead in your tracks and you drop down like a rock so it does not feel natural it is really weird and that kind of adds to the annoyance of the game in terms of just you know your how you control your character now the other difficulty part comes from the design um you start with really low health really low mana and it's your job to slowly get stronger by finding new armor and just getting new perma upgrades and stuff like that uh, so the game is pretty punishing if you do not pay attention to enemy attack patterns you don't block you do not dodge out of the way and you don't use your uh you don't use your supplies it's really important that you you know unless you like want to take things super slow and backtrack and hit enemies and backtrack hit enemies you're going to want to use all of your stuff like use your disposable wands use all your potions use all your food to eat because you are already going to amass quite a bit enemies seem to drop ton uh, a ton of consumables on pickup and there are a lot of ways for you to die there's no fall damage but there are spike traps enemies can really gang up on you there is a good amount of uh la not 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 lag but like delayed action after an ability so you better be careful like you want to choose a weapon and you want to stick with it and really learn the timing if you're going to be a two-handed we hander you better know the timing and wind that shot up in advance before an enemy runs up to it same with the 
other weapons. Um, as, as of course, it's a Metroidvania, so you're going to be running through different grids, different areas on the map. You can open up your map and see where you've been, where rooms are collected. There's even different colors, so you can see the different biomes. And you can teleport back and forth when you hit certain checkpoints. And there is a manual save. So, but when you die, you got to be careful. You either go back to one of those checkpoints, which you activated last, or back to your computer save. From what I've played so far, I can tell a lot of love and care has been put into the overall style and package of the game. It looks good. The feel of it is a little whack, but you can get by that. You know, it's just how the game was designed. It's not, you're not supposed to be some overly powerful being. You're, you're just like a schoolgirl who lost her memories in this dungeon. So I guess if you want to go by that logic, then yes, you're not like crazy uh, militaristic uh, personnel, but it does feel unnatural you know it, you know you you want to play well but then you're limited to the gameplay i do like how there's constant shops that you can go in and sell the items you're not using anymore and just in case you want to rebuy them you can go ahead and grab them from the shop at a higher price than you sold it at uh but what's really cool is um, a lot of the weapons seem to go with some armors so for example you can find a poison amulet and then it you know it makes you almost immune to poison and grants you more poison damage so then it, you know it really incentivizes you to find certain uh, synergies and keep them and switch them around when necessary i would say lost ruin is not a bad game at all it's like a 50 50 recommendation leading more towards yes if you do like what you've seen today i don't think you're gonna go wrong here just remember this game's slightly challenging but as long as you just use all of the supplies you got don't be stingy because you are gonna get more you're gonna be fine there's no difficulty settings but just make sure to play with a controller i recommend that so yes lost ruins that's my first impression review if you guys want to see the unedited gameplay there's a link down in the description to that. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like. It helps a lot if you haven't already subbed for daily videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.